Oh, wow. That's an incredibly serious question. Yeah, yeah, no. Let me, let me wrap my head around it. Hopefully not at all. This is just a movie. So hopefully not at all. I mean, violence begets violence. So, yeah, I mean, this attacks the subconscious mind. So, yeah, people will get the idea about the usage of guns. I don't think it does. I mean, I think, you know, I think that we all have to be responsible in this day and age. I think this is a funny kind of silly, bloodless you know, escapade, which can't be confused with, you know, real life tragedies and, and uh, but I think we all have to be more vigilant. I don't know. I have no idea. The, the story is, I mean, the, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that it does or it does not. It's in our culture. Artists, you know, hold mirrors up. Um, Hopefully purposely. You know, I, I'm from Texas originally, and uh, Texans love their guns. And I think in the story, it's focused on the DEA as well as naval intelligence. And I always think that it's a good idea that uh, the, the guys that are um, em empowered law officials have access to guns to be able to protect us. I come from Iceland, you know, and uh, we don't have guns. So it's not an issue in my country. But I also have to say, I, I wouldn't blame car racing for car accidents, you know, or, or people speed on the highways. So I don't have any proof for that, but I, I, I'm not a preacher. I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a movie maker and entertainer. So this was the name of the comic book, and I liked it. And it's not, the violence in the movie is, it's, it's tough, but it also has consequences. And I think if it has consequences, I think it's less, I think what is most dangerous is to teach people that uh, have violence that does not have consequences. Nothing you see in this movie is not what happens inside of that world.